Good day, everyone. John Cagle, Senior Functional Consultant for Western Computer. Today's topic, Modern Advanced Find, with a sister topic of hiding system views. Today, I'll tell you a little bit about the new feature called Modern Advanced Find. Then we'll jump into the software to see how it works and compare it against the legacy Advanced Find functionality. I'll wrap that up with a couple of thoughts for you to take away, and we'll have a nice session here to learn about this great functionality. So Advanced Find is really a querying option within Dynamics 365 that allows you to run queries against records, tables like you'd normally find, accounts, contacts, work orders, opportunities, leads, projects, all of the things that you normally find in customer engagement applications. It's really just a giant filter that can be applied to these kinds of tables, and it allows you to create a query or filter for records within that table or related records to that table. Here I'm showing you just a quick screenshot of what the legacy advanced find interface looks like where we're able to look for a specific table, use a specific view, and put specific filters or columns into the view in order to find and work with the data that we're used to working with. Modern advanced find replaces this legacy experience, but it adds some enhancements that allow a regular user at least to personalize and be more productive with model-driven apps. Again, in the demo, I'll show you the difference between the two and how they work. There's a couple of key things that you should know. Global search can be used with either legacy advanced find or modern advanced find, and I'll point that out in just a moment. When you turn on modern advanced find, the legacy advanced find functionality goes away. You can turn it back on or toggle between the two as you're getting used to working with the functionality. When you are using Modern Advanced Find, users will find that when they're creating a personal query or a view, they have a couple of steps that they need to take. And so they'll be first setting the filters, then setting columns and other options when they work with the particular view. So it becomes a two-step process using Modern Advanced Find. However, the regular user will also find some advantages. They'll be able to, for example, be allowed to hide system views. I point out that the modern advanced find functionality applies to all apps in the environment. It can't be set specifically, say, for a customer service app or sales hub app or something to that effect. The last thing I point out is as you're working in the implementation of a new environment, the modern advanced find may be inconvenient as you're looking up records, troubleshooting data migration, and those kinds of things. All right, let's jump in and see what it looks like within the software. When we're working in Dynamics 365, in the specific applications that we either have by default or that we develop, in my case, I'm in the Sales Hub app, we know that we can go from, say, a dashboard list like we're looking at here to looking at various tables within this environment. So, for example, we can tap on Accounts and we'll see a list of all accounts. At the top right of this list, we see the ability to search or filter for various records within this particular list. So for example, I want to see accounts with a name that contains Coho or Coho Winery, and I return two values. So that's a simple search within the view. At the top in our work area, you do see a global search functionality, which is turned on by your administrator in specific environments. And then notice if we were to type Coho here in this situation, I'm going to return a couple of accounts, and I'm also going to return a couple of contacts. These contacts have an email address which contains the word Coho, and that's how they were actually surfaced with the global search. So if I were to tap on that, you can see that I have two accounts, six contacts, or several opportunities related to these contacts and or the account, a couple of activities that go along with that. So global search then is working behind the scenes to surface values from the various tables within the environment. In this case, again, accounts and contacts. What you see on the top right 
is a little funnel here, and this is how the user gets to Advanced Find. And if I were to tap on this, we open Advanced Find, and we can go through the various tables like accounts or contacts, etc. Use a saved view like all accounts or active accounts for that matter. Come here and make our query. So we would say, say, for example, account name contains Boho. And again, with the legacy advanced find, I'm returning those same values. But I want you to notice working with the legacy advanced find, I have the ability to say edit columns here and add columns for accounts or even related tables. I can save as and have a personal view created right from here and then be able to carry forward with that view. So I can rearrange columns, rearrange the sort order, rearrange the filters and queries that would make up the list that I eventually want to have with the advanced find functionality. So let me leave this for a second. I'm going to go behind the scenes as an admin. And what I've done is I've gone to admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com. In my trial environment, I went to settings and then features. And what I'm doing here then is scrolling down to the advanced find options. I'm toggling that to on for the modern advanced find functionality. And you'll also notice that we're toggling on the ability for users to hide system views. So if I come back over to my accounts list here, oops, I need to save that value, sorry. Save that, just takes a second. Come back over to my accounts list in the user interface. I'm just going to refresh this. And now you'll see at the top, while I still am able to search within the view, I still have a global search here at the top, but my little filter button's gone away to get to the legacy advanced find query functionality. Instead, when I click on the global search here at the top, you'll notice a new value here at the bottom. And this is saying search for rows in a table using advanced filters. So without that, before I do that, certainly I can still search for Coho. I still get the two accounts and the contacts, et cetera, that goes with it. But I'm going to just go back out of that for a second, tap on the global search, and then search for rows in a table using advanced filters. So here now I'm a regular user and I want to find Coho using the modern advanced find functionality. And you can see similar to the legacy advanced find, I still am looking for the correct table that I want to interact with, but I don't have the ability to choose which columns go into the list or be able to sort for those values in that particular list that happens from there. So I can go through here and pick just the one table. I can search for it. I'm going to hit continue. If you'll wait just a second, we get a little pop up then that says edit filters for accounts. And again, I don't have that functionality or that big ribbon across the top for columns and sorting and all of that kind of stuff. Instead, I'm going to add a row and I'm going to use again this simple search and I'm just going to say account name contains go oh, right and then apply. I could certainly add other filters into this query and then I get to the same place. Now notice that all accounts has an asterisk next to it. I can now go forward and edit columns and add various columns or rearrange the columns using this functionality or I could come back and further edit the filters here for this list. But notice at the bottom of the list, I have the ability to save as a new view, and that's how I get my new view created with the modern advanced find. 
So going forward for regular users who are not creating a lot of views, you'll see them using modern advanced find to their advantage when they're just looking for a record and not really looking to set up a whole new personal view. To set up the whole new personal view, I still think it's easier to use the legacy advanced find functionality. But once I do set this view up the way I'd like, I'm just going to put a name on it, hit save. Now, if I go to the list of all of my account views, let me refresh this. Here's my new view. You can see that it has a little icon on it that says it's a personal view. And then I would go on to working with that particular view however I want. And I can continue to modify it to use it going forward. So what I've tried to describe then is the difference then between the legacy and the modern advanced find and how the features work. But when you enable modern advanced find, you are able to hide system views. So if I were to again hit the drop down next to the list of views, I can go to manage and share views. Again, if modern advanced find is toggled on, then you can toggle on this ability to hide views or rearrange the views that I may or may not be using. So say I'm a salesperson, an outside salesperson, and my administrator has made lots of customer service views for accounts in my environment. Well, I don't need all of those. And in fact, really just want to focus on a couple of different views of accounts that I typically work with. So I can come in and start hiding views like this. I don't need this one either, et cetera. So if I hit apply, I'll no longer see those particular views in the view list, thereby making my work a little bit more focused. So that's how we get at that sister functionality of hiding system views as a regular user. All right, let me jump back over to my presentation here and try to wrap this up for you. A couple of key takeaways. Combined with global search, and I think all administrators will turn on global search for their users in any environment. We can combine that either with the legacy advanced find or the modern advanced find, but combined with the two, they provide a key component to enable user productivity, helping them focus. When it is on, you are enabling the ability for a user to hide system views, which allows them, again, to focus on the key things that they need to get their work done, to be productive, and to look forward to what they should be doing. Regardless of what you do, if users are creating a lot of personal views, you may want to go back to Legacy Find. But in the end, as you're, especially as you're working toward a new environment, be consistent. Once training starts, train users in a certain way, and I think you'll be happy with that. All right, that's my show for today. If you have any questions, please contact your salesperson, your customer success manager, and I hope you all have a great day, and I hope this was productive for you.